Welcome back to the channel. It's AJ, a.k.a. The God. A woman is here exposing, dropping knowledge about the female and female nature and how females do things, boys. Oh, my goodness. So sit back, relax, and let's see what she has to say. Four harsh truths about women that most men discover too late. At times, when you discover this, it becomes so, so late. So I want you to get it now. Number one, women make decisions based on their emotion. So at times, do not take or consider the decision most women make. They easily change their mind. When they are angry with you, they can tell you, please get out. I don't want any more. I don't want any more. When they are so angry. Mm -hmm. But men could be logical. A man mm -hmm. can calm down, reason out things. But women, the moment they are angry, they start talking. I don't want again. I don't want again. Leave my house. She might not mean it. Mm. She might be speaking out of her emotion. Tomorrow she will start regretting it. We speak out of emotion. At this point, when you are taking care of her, mm -hmm. when you are showing her love, all mm -hmm. the care, ah, that guy is so sweet too. Hey, that guy too good. Mm -hmm. Don't joke with him. I go marry him. I love him. Ah, mm -hmm. I love him so much. Kelvin, he's busting my head up. At that point, you are good to them. At that point, you are sweet to them. At that point, you are showering your care on them. But God forbid, let the table turn around. Mm. Stop giving. Mm -hmm. Emotion swing. You will see the same woman that was preaching your love on another level. Ah, oh, wow. I'm not just happy in this relationship. Ah. You know what she said? It makes sense, yes. But I don't think you could always forgive a woman who reacts that way because a lot of these women would use those times to run into the arms of a next man trying to look for comfort. Now, my brothers, what she said, oh, yeah, you could forgive them. Yes, I already know that a woman is a weaker vessel, but depending on the conversation or the argument, eh, if she reacts a certain way, you already know. There's somebody else who might be there sampling the cheeks, keeping her well serviced, and maintained until you come back like a sip. You don't want that. But let's keep going. She, she, she made a little bit of sense there for a woman. <laughs> I'm not careful. I'm tired, in fact. I'm tired. Women talk out of emotion. It's all mm -hmm. women. When they are angry, ah, there is nothing they will not say. The reason why I tell you, never tell your women any secrets, any secrets at all, or anything that is like private to you or confidential. You don't mm. want them to repeat this because when they are angry, really angry with you, hmm, they will throw it out. They don't have control. The reason why you offend some women, immediately they get angry, they pack their things, they go out, thinking that you are going to start begging them. But when they leave your house, <laughs> a day after, two days after, hey, why did I leave go? Hey, he did not even stop me at all. He did not even stop me. Now, boys, what you said there, I have a thing that I would tell men or even my boys to do they would all just tell a woman make up a scenario about something and pretend that it's something that hurt you and leave it out there just give it to her and if she ever brings it up you know to cut that woman off because if she will bring it up she's an evil person and you don't want a woman like that let's keep going why did i leave go oh, hey, i've just lost him they start regretting number two women take advantage of a weak man I know I've told you this several, but mm -hmm. this is a very harsh truth about women. When you are weak, guy, women take advantage of you. Oh, this is fact. They can step on you. Mm -hmm. They can roll on you. They mm -hmm. can sit on you with their big bumble. Who mm -hmm. is the weak man? The man that is always begging them not to go. Mm -hmm. The man that is always begging her when she's angry. Mm -hmm. Even when you offend her, you apologize. When she offends you, you apologize. Oh, that's a gem right there. She's speaking nothing but facts, boys. Now... I would always tell men, if it's something tiny, like if you told her, pass you the knife, and she didn't pass you the knife, and then you said, hey, I didn't ask you to pass the knife, and then she said, but you didn't tell me, I don't think that's something for you to worry about with an argument. You leave it alone. Like, okay, okay, sorry. My bad, could you pass me the knife? But if it's something serious, and then you're going to cower and belittle yourself as a man because you're trying to save her feelings, or you're afraid that if she's going to leave and go to another man, you're weak. When she threatens you with a breakup, you are begging her to stay. Every mm -hmm. little thing, some women will tell you, I'm tired. I'm going out. I can't cope again. You see some men will start begging. Please, no, don't now, go please. Home. They will take her. Stay home. 
Yeah. Because that is making you weak. You begin to apologize every time. That is a weak man. Because mm -hmm. he knows you cannot do without her. And at mm -hmm. the end, she will still leave you because women do not want to be with weak men. They, they can't be secure. They want these bad boys. They want high value men. Yes, who are principled, who are disciplined. So when mm -hmm. you are so weak and so kind, give me this, take. Give me that, take. Oh, I need this, take. You are always giving her what she wants. Mm -hmm. Women will take advantage of you, dump you, and move on to other men. That is it. What's you dropping the album, Another bro? Another harsh truth about women. That thing that you are afraid of, that they will throw at you. So never tell a woman what you are afraid of. If you tell a woman that you are always afraid of breakup, you don't like a failed relationship, you are always scared when it comes to like breaking up, losing someone you like, they will use that to threaten you. Yes, every mm. little thing, they will tell you they are tired. I'm tired, oh please, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. When they know your weakness, they know what to fear, they use it against you. That is women for you. Maybe mm. you are always angry when she goes out with her male friend. You are always so angry. When she's angry with you, she will intentionally go out with that male friend. So that's oh, oh, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> right there, boys. If she has a male friend that she will go out with, she's not the one. Cut her off. Don't even don't even take that as a threat because you shouldn't even be there. You understand? Your head because you don't have a boundary. But if she knows that you're going to cut out with her or give her space or push her out, she will not try it. Another harsh truth about women, women need boundary. If not, they are going to walk on you. They are going to step on you. That's the truth. Mm. They need boundary. They need limits. Mm. Women need rules and regulation. They women don't. at times could be like children. They are children. When they know that you are not going to do anything to them, they are willing to do whatever they want. But when they are scared that they might lose you, you might get angry with them and stop your care. You are willing to break up if she goes offline so much. They are going to sit up. But if she's dropping bars right here. She's letting you boys know. A woman don't want a man who don't value himself. They say they act as if they don't, but they want that man because they know that man is a secured man and that man is who's the man who could take care of her. She's dropping bars right now. Women want men who can discipline them without mm. being violent. Don't always let her decision overshadow your own. Oh, no, no, don't listen to that. Sometimes you gotta hit him with the left, hit him with the right. You gotta not up with your like fight night. I'm just playing. I'm talking about. I'm talking about sexual relations, not physical. Okay. Oh, don't always say, ah, because I like you, you're a woman. Just do it your way. Oh, it's women's world. Do it your way. Women first. Do it your way. Mm -mm. Times have changed. It's not women first. Men can come first at times. When a woman feels that you don't love her so much, mm -hmm. you're not showing much care, she begin to test you to see your reaction. For example, you might pick up her phone. Hello, Paul. How are you? Long time. How you day? Knowing that you are there. Ah, I miss you. You don't forget me now. Here you come there now. Ah, ah. They are doing this just to see your reaction. Mm. To see if you will get jealous. And not just in the level of jealousy. They might just throw something away. Just to see what you will do, how you can handle them. For example, a woman you just met, you brought her to your house for the first time. She will just tell you, I don't like the way you arranged your city room. She will start changing things. She will just start changing things. Some mm. women do this. She will just change this. Ah, put your furniture here. Ah, put this here. Even without you telling her. Even without taking permission. She's testing you. It's wrong. That's the truth. If she's your wife, if you have gone find that relationship, it's different. Not that the first time you are coming to a man's house, you are telling him you don't like his arrangement. You are rearranging everything. Scattering and rearranging his house. As what? They are testing you. Just to know your reaction, how far you get angry, how far you get jealous. React. Mm -hmm. Even if she's testing you, does not mean you will allow her to get away with every rubbish. It is better she tests you and see your reaction so that in real time, she will not try it. So basically, what she's saying don't pretend to be something else. Be yourself. If you know she does something that you don't like, let her know. Hey, hey, bitch. <laughs> I don't really like when you do that, okay? Don't do that again. Well, not like that. I'm just saying it to be funny, but you know. Or if she's talking to a guy, tell her, hey, I don't do the, the, the male best friend thing, you know? Have your own boundaries and let them know from the get-go. Don't let it fester and wait because then the woman will say, well, you didn't have a problem with it before. That's bars. She's spitting. Let's keep going. But women love to test men. At times, they throw a topic. They want to see what you have to say about it. One of my friends even called me now. She's even crying. She cheated on her boyfriend. Her boyfriend caught her with another man. And she has been begging. We have been begging. Ah, that man should forgive now. Now, wow. I know she's wrong, but at least let the man forgive now. They want to know your take on that. If you are going to forgive them if they cheat on you. Mm -hmm. They bring this in directly. At times, if you don't say anything, some go ahead and start asking you. If you are the man, what would you do? 
I'm a guy, tell him, say, if I'm the man, I will throw her out. Throw her out, fling her out. So if she mm. wants to know, make sure you know. Make sure you not try her because you will fling her out. They are testing you. Some women, before they do bad, they, they ask questions first indirectly. That's we women. Before you see a woman doing any bad thing, they will ask the question indirectly or mm. tell you that their friend did it or tell you that they saw a woman doing it just to find your reaction. So you better react so that in case they are planning to do it, they will not do it. Now a bonus point, a bonus point. Okay. So women, they love sex a lot, but they always want the men to be grateful for that sex. They mm. always feel that they are doing you a favor when they sleep with you, no matter how much they enjoy it. When you hear that, boys? I didn't know that. Nah, I'm playing. I did know that. Any woman who's willing to use the meow to get what they want, cut them off. That means they have no value because they think that's all they bring anyway. Okay? So cut her off. Let's keep going. Whenever they sleep with you, they always feel that they are doing the men favor. And at times when they are angry with you, they are willing to withhold that sex. They will not give it to you. Women mm. always feel that when it comes to sexual intercourse, it is just on the men. They are the ones that like it. Me, I can do without it. Me, I don't need it to. I'm doing it to please him. If he makes me angry, if I ask him for this thing, they cannot take care of me. I will not do it too. Mm. I will close my leg. Show you they close your pocket. She dropped gems. You can't say she didn't drop gems. Now, what I want y'all to do is um, leave your comment down in the comment section. Let's have a conversation. Let me see if any of you learned anything from what she was saying or if you already knew everything she was saying. I'm not going to lie. Most of it, I did know personally. But the way that she said women test men by giving examples or using examples of their friend scenarios to see how you would react to then no okay yeah i could to, yeah they use those examples to gauge you to know what they can do and what they can't do in the relationship isn't that wild that's crazy that they they think so far ahead when we boys just on the spot something new come up two months down the line we learn that there but no these women are doing that from the get-go gotta be prepared out here man but yeah, that's the end of the video. My name is AJ. Y'all can call me the God. If y'all like the video, go ahead and hit that like and that subscribe button for more of this non-sugar coating content. Now let's go.